In this video, I'm going to demonstrate real briefly how you can work with 3D text in Maya. 3D text is in a polygon format that can use different types of uh, typefaces and you can also change as far as the spelling goes. One of the big things that I personally like to use text for whenever I'm doing 3D modeling is if I need some sort of sign on the wall or if I'm importing into Unity or Unreal to have a text in the space. So to start with the text, you go to your poly modeling tab and you just click on the big T. And by default, what you'll get is this type mesh that just says 3D type on it. Yes, not the most exciting thing in the world, but it gets you started here. And what it opens up for you is over in your attribute editor is this type one area here where you can see probably right here, this is kind of the core area you're gonna to wanna to play around with here. First off, you have as far as your fonts are concerned, but then right underneath here, this is where you can actually change how the text appears. So if I do like, hello world, three D is neat. So not only can you do things whereby you just have one line, but you can also combine as far as using the enter key to, or the return key to make multi lines of text. So, that's something to take into consideration whenever you're doing layout and design. Sometimes what you may want is you may want a little bit more control or maybe you want to offset a phrase. At that point, I would tell you to actually use the type tool again and make a second uh, set of text there. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this as is just so that we have something to work with. And for instance, now I can come in here and I can change as far as the calligraphy. Uh, you know, let's go through here. So you've got tons of options as far as 3D is concerned. Now, one thing I just wanna warn you on is whenever you're working with the specific font is notice, like for instance here, I'm using a uh, mesquite and you see how when I get on an angle here, this actually gets a little difficult to read. That's something to take into consideration whenever you're working with type in 3D. Now, that's not to say that you can't use the fancier typefaces. But like, for instance, if I come down here, uh, some of the scripts can be very difficult to read. So here you have palace script, might be a little difficult to read. There's so many other ones as far as, uh, so here we have rage italic, which isn't too bad. So you've got tons of options. Likewise too, when you come right below that, you can change as far as the overall text size or the font size rather, so you can increase and decrease. You can actually change the tracking. You can also change the kerning of your lettering. So if you want something a little bit more spread out there, you can also change your leading as far as the space between your lines. So it's almost in a way, if you're familiar with Photoshop or Illustrator, you have a lot of the same tools available to you that you can work with. Now, depending on how you're going to use the text though, the one thing that I do advise is you will see when you make the type, you have so many different options going across the top here as far as your different options. You can even set specific bevels. You can set as far as the transforms are concerned. One other thing that I wanna draw your attention to when you first start working with type is the extrusion itself. So here you can see I've pulled the text on an angle and hopefully it's pretty clear here, but you can see how I have so many faces and edges going on here on each of this lettering here. If I were to UV map this, this could actually become a royal pain. So also too, from a rendering standpoint, I'm making a lot of extra work as far as the render process is concerned. So under the type here, again, you can control your text and things like that. But as you go across here, you're also going to have a type extrude option under the attribute editor. 
And under the extrude curve here, one of the things that I like to draw attention to when you first start working with text is things like the division and the distance. So if you're looking for just very simplistic text that is going to be a neon sign or on a wall, anything where it isn't kind of the core of your overall scene, you're probably safe coming in and taking down the extrude distance here. So you can see my division. I've actually taken it down to one. I've now gotten rid of those extra lines. And maybe now I shrink the extrude a little bit here. One other thing that this really helps with as well that I've found is legibility of the text. So now you can see I still have that 3D effect going on as far as the text is concerned, but I'm not, I don't have all those extra divisions or the extra extrusion distance that I have to deal with. And again, that's located on your attribute editor under type extrude. And those are just some of the basics of how you can get type in. So if I wanted to now, keeping this highlighted, uh, if I come all the way to the end here. So I could also come in, you know, I could change the color of my typeface and I could apply a material and I'm well on my way working with the text. 